Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac uh, Reedin Birth. Doesn't really make any sense. I'm gonna do another Eden run. I'm not tired of Eden runs. I was just doubting my own abilities. Farkin Mom's Foot 4LTYC42A. Mom's uh, shoe, Mom's heels, I guess. Razor blade. Freaking Bible tract. Why are our tears red? That's definitely mom's heel, isn't it? That's like the most reasonable approximation I could expect for mom's heel. I don't know why our tears are red. I also don't know why we started with four cents. Uh, nor how we're gonna implement the razor blade effectively here. But hey, there's a lot of tinted rocks. Not a great Eden start, but goddamn if we don't look great. Of course it's mom's heels. I'm noticing that we have like red shoes on right now. That's probably the bigger tell. Miter's pretty good. This is, without a doubt, our worst Eden start yet. Which actually, in a way, I feel good about because I feel like it's going to motivate me to actually make this the first traditional win. We had one where we got real Platinum God. We had one that technically counted as a win, although I basically just forgot the Polaroid and... Uh, as a result, it made the win a little bit less, you know, amazing than it otherwise would have been. I'm really tempted to use the razor blade here just for shits and giggles, but I don't think I'm going to actually do it. I think that would be... Probably a little bit deleterious to our chances of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor, so I'm going to avoid that for now, if you don't mind. I am pretty excited to have five cents, though, especially if you get an HP upgrade here, although I'd rather probably have a DPS upgrade this early on. Uh, if we get an HP upgrade here, we're going to have a ton of HP to be able to gamble away at a blood bank and probably be able to buy a shop item, maybe even something like the red candle to replace our existing razor blade. Plus, with the razor blade... Hey, we're not going to be able to buy the Razor Blade in a deal with the Devil, which means the Razor Blade is never going to show up on a deal with the Devil, which means, oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. Digging the haircut, too. Really, like, this is probably the most, like, Natalie Dormer-esque Eden run we've ever had. So there's something positive to say about it right now. Uh, also, red tears always trick me into thinking I'm doing more damage. Being tricked into thinking you're doing more damage might seem like a negative, but uh, I don't necessarily know if that's the case. We basically, let's be honest, we got a speed upgrade. I'm just going to head down to the next floor, which is going to entail skipping two tinted rocks that are pretty easy to get, but we have no bombs. And I don't want to do any more exploration right now, I just want to head down to the next floor and hopefully we'll end up picking up like a red heart uh, along the way. Not a, wait, not a red heart. Um, an arcade. That is a weird mix-up to make. You're going to have to excuse me, I've been talking all freaking day. It's like, you know, three videos, NLSS... This is the third video after that, so it's been a long day of talking, my brain's a little bit fried. That is probably why um, I fucked up that last Eden run. But I'm still on a little bit of a like real Platinum God high, so I'm like, gotta keep playing. Gotta keep playing, gotta prove that you've earned it. Fuck this room, by the way, forever, right? Um, excuse me. If you could just get out of my face, please, so I could actually hurt your granddaddies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know I took damage there. I don't really care. I would give up all of my red hearts but that half one just to finish off this goddamn room. Well, put your money where your mouth is, motherfucker. Use the razor blade. Okay, let's not get ridiculous. I was just, you know, using poetic license there. I wouldn't actually do it. I was being a little bit, uh, you know, rhetorical. We got a spirit art back. I'm going to take that as a sign that all is right in the world. Uh, you know what? Let's use one of these bombs to knock this bad boy over here. Works well enough, at least. And that gives us even another Spirit Heart on top of that. You got bombs? You got bombs? I think they got bombs. Fuck getting the pots. Blow each other up with a bomb so I don't have to deal with your absolute horseshit. Any enemy that generates another enemy, I'm declaring war on your ass right now. I'm gonna send you back in a fucking body bag. Now. These rooms have been exceptionally annoying so far. I would rather fight the haunt right now than do this room. And we're probably going to end up fighting the haunt anyway, which is why I bring it up, because we're going to have to do both, in all likelihood. But that being said, the game has been somewhat kind. The fact that we ended up getting those two extra spirit hearts without having any, uh, you know, spirit heart requirement at all. It's a big, uh, get for us. It takes a lot of load off, and you know, not being, not having to be stressed out about our HP allows me to be a little bit more entertaining with my commentary, hopefully. That allows me to be a little bit more... Uh, loose and relaxed, and that probably allows me to do dodges like that one right there, where things could have easily gone in a different way and, uh, ended up hurting us. Hard to tell if that's, you know, causality all checks out, but you get the idea. I still, I can't decide on why we have red tears here. The only thing I can divine from it, try to at least, is that the razor blade must give you red tears when you pick it up. 
even if you've never used it. And by must, I mean may, of course. You know, I mean literally the, the inverse of the definition of the actual word. Yo, I want you to... I know what I said, but I want you to know what I mean instead. You should know that I don't have any uh, mastery of the English language by now. Another pill. We've never seen this one. Excuse me. How are these spiders taking so long to kill every time? Health down, huh? <laughs> okay, cool. Luckfoot. Well, it's pretty good. Guess we didn't even need to fight that spider, all things considered. I'm amazed. Perturbed. A little bit um, nonplussed that this happens to be... I guess nonplussed is like the opposite of uh, perturbed. But anyway, I'm not excited by the fact that this is not our boss room. Seems like a long floor. Maybe just based on the fact that we have to deal with so many GD rooms and particularly big rooms and rooms with enemies that take more hits than I'd like. Finally. Uh, yeah, this is absolutely worth it. Now, I will use the razor blade like twice to get our damage buffed up unless we're fighting the Widow. Or maybe like Blighted Ovum. Don't get hit on here, please. Yeah, I figured it would be the Haunt. So we'll, I, I just used one Spirit Heart to churn it into some extra damage. I don't know how much extra damage we get out of that, but I, I have to believe that using one Spirit Heart to give us extra damage might prevent us from taking one Spirit Heart and damage. Now, we still took that half heart. Come on, that was nearly unavoidable with the shot speed that unfortunate individual had to have. It's all right. Easy peasy so far. Over halfway done. You know, ride, rode the pony on that one and ended up still being fine. Not a concern. I am not concerned. If I was a rope, I would be tied because I am not concerned. Screw. Yeah, why not, right? It's like toothpicks or toothpick. And I guess we're going to go, you know, full on scare mode here. We're going to take Sacrificial Dagger for the fact that it's great, but also to deal with the Devil Precedent. And, um... Permanent Polaroid Invincibility, I guess, at some point in the future. But for now, mostly just scared. Gotta be very careful with Sacrificial Dagger. That's the good stuff right there. I will go into our curse room. It was not worth it. That happens from time to time. So I'll admit, this is a problem for me. Um, and it's a, it's a problem with knowledge in the game. I don't know which one is the one that gives you a higher angel chance and which one just gives you a better spirit heart chance. Rosary bead or Bible tract. Because I used to think it was Bible tract and then people told me I was wrong. Oftentimes what ends up happening here is that um, people tell me I was wrong and then a bunch of people come out and they say, no, actually the first time you were right, those people don't know what they're talking about. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm on the fence right now, so I figured let's just go counterfeit Penny. And, you know, I know what counterfeit Penny does. We're not going to risk fucking our run up by taking that. And all things considered, it's probably unlikely to make a huge difference. We'll get rid of counterfeit Penny uh, at our earliest convenience. But for now, we can enjoy the increased uh, interest that we'll gain from it effectively. It's not interest at all, but you get the idea. I don't know how banking works. Let's check. That's the idea that I wanted you to gleam from that. Holy Mantle. Holy Mantle. Plus, we did get the Miter on this one, right? Yeah. Holy Mantle plus the Miter plus Sacrificial Dagger. Now we can definitely feel a little bit better about using Sacrificial Dagger, like, pretty offensively. That's not very good. Does whole, does uh, Sacrificial Dagger cut the poop? I don't think so. And yet another Spirit Heart. That's the Miter at work. So this run is now awesome. It's a little bit risky and our tears are still garbage, but... Apart from that, I'm feeling pretty great about it. I think we've got a pretty good chance of turning this one into a victory. I mean, we do it. I'm, I'm not like being audacious by calling that. I think we already have Miter and Sacrificial Dagger. I would welcome some extra damage, but apart from those, or apart from that, situation's looking pretty good. Or we could just go full defense, give me like a Halo of Flies or something like that. Joker, two of hearts. Ugh. Probably the worst possible playing card for us at this current moment in time. But in the future, who knows how useless it could possibly become. Why, did I misspeak there? I don't think I did. So Sacrificial Dagger allows us to... Pretty much, this has almost become like a weird mom's knife, very tight radius, tiny planet run. 
because that's the way I'm choosing to play it. Because honestly, I actually feel like that's going to help me do more damage uh, quicker than the alternative. And it's worked out pretty excellently so far. When it backfires, it's going to be uh, deliciously terrible. But for now, this is okay. I hope you'll forgive me for not taking BOGO Bombs. Out of all the like buy one, get one items in the game, I think BOGO Bombs is by far the worst. Like, Humbling Bundle, Contract from Below. Sign me up. You know, even if I don't have the money for it, I will take on debt to take those. I will blow up our donation machine. I will enjoy doing the doing it. I will have a good time in the process. And it will usually end up working out anyway. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. That is a very bad time for you to shoot. I'm not sure if you heard my earlier pleas. That's a great time for you to shoot, though, because then we can do that. And that is pretty solid. And let's just do it again. Relatively good. See the sacrificial dagger pickup, man. I'm glad I went balls deep on that one because we could have uh, we could have chosen not to, and I think that would have been a very large mistake. And now we find ourselves pretty much in a guaranteed one position. Oh, uh, but we can only take one. I almost walked into pentagram first. We're definitely taking brimstone. Sorry. It's uh, it's by far the best item there, uh, without a single doubt. And now it's a win. Brimstone, holy mantle, miter. Sacrificial Dagger, a little bit less important than it used to be. Our damage, again, still sucks. However, it doesn't matter now. Because it can suck versus like five enemies at once, which is pretty solid. Now we'll just be hoping for some high damage items. Even stuff that like drastically lowers our rate of fire, as long as it ups our damage, that's the important thing. I'm still salty that that health downgrade pill cost us a chance of the pentagram, which would have really made this item more effective, but this is great now. Now, we can't do shit on our uh, blood bank in here. Is there a demon judgment? There is not a demon judgment. We can still do stuff like that. I appreciate that. Man, Miter is going out of control for us already. Cool it on the spirit arts a little bit. We're going to need him a little later. Just for old time's sake, we'll use Sacrificial Dagger there. Can't do much about that. Hopefully we get another deal with the devil here. I know I'm being greedy at this point, but... I think the win is nearly a foregone conclusion. Ugh. Bad trip didn't hurt me. Sorry, what happened? Am I losing my mind on this run? Am I just like missing... I'm not a very detail-oriented person for the most part. Am I missing some details that would really, you know, illuminate what's happening in this situation? Because I think I just took a bad trip pill but somehow did not take damage. That can't be Holy Mantle protecting me from that, can it? Holy Mantle normally doesn't protect you from direct damage like that. It's a little weird. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Rotten Baby. Our Brimstone shots aren't dealing that much damage, but if they do, or if they start to, Rotten Baby will be an enormous asset uh, for us. Is it worth a bomb for a Spirit Art in this situation? Would you hate me if I said no? We're already getting so many Spirit Arts for free. I mean, I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm just saying. We might not get to back to the HP cap right away, but we're getting... Pretty fudging close, only I didn't say fudge, you know? For now, though, let's just be content with the situation we've got. It's a very good place to be. Oh, come on with this Curse of the Maze bullshit. Anti-speedrun doctrine, Ed. Ed, come on now. We'll probably go back and open that golden chest. I'm guessing we can bomb our way into the shop if we really want to. We may decide to do that. I haven't decided yet. That's why, you know, I'm leaving it up in the air like a Jorge Clooney film. This room, you know, I'm going to take damage. Almost saw that one coming a mile away. I, I didn't expect to take uh, damage beyond Holy Mantle, so... I'm happy with the way that that turned out, but... Lucky me. Anytime you can still do that, like, if you can one-hit turrets, at least you're not totally fucked for damage. That's bloody lust, right? Man, here's another, hopefully, relatively simple expansion idea. Not to say that, you know, oh, there's so many problems with Rebirth, but just the very tiniest things. Make Eden randomable. Boom. 15 million copies sold. Make it so Bloody Lust and Anemia have different, uh, or much, I know they already have different, but make it so that they have much, much different uh, icons. Game of the Year edition right there, dog. Sorted out. 10 out of 10. Maybe you can finally stop being an indie developer and go work for a real company like Ubisoft. They'll finally take notice of your work. I'm, I'm being facetious. I hope that is easily realized. You'd be surprised what people get mad at me about. Fool card. Great for, you know, late game boss rush bullshit. And you know that I am fond of late game boss rush bullshit. 
Pretty fly. Bad trip, not so much. Beyond being fond of that, I'm also fond of not having to fight enemies I don't want to fight, though. So let's move along here. And this is sort of where we want to be. Do we want to use a key? I don't want to use a key. I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, baby, and I don't want to miss a thing. So we'll just head down to the next floor, and, you know, I'm feeling like this is going pretty well. Why couldn't the womb door have closed when I walked over it without having the pentagram or the Polaroid? Sorry, with a P, ended with a meh. Getting a little silly here. That's how these late game runs go, though. Thank you, Rotten Baby. Hero fonts. Again, that's why I was not worried about using a bomb to access a spirit heart. Our, uh, our game has been very generous with spirit heart generation thus far. Admittedly, being a little bit audacious about the way that I choose to dodge uh, into enemies. That's a result of having Sacrificial Dagger. That's what I was hoping for right there. A guppy item. Did we lose Holy Mantle? No. A guppy item that also allows us to uh, finally, for fuck's sake, get rid of uh, the Razor Blade. Which I used once and, you know, you could argue that it was effective. It helped, maybe. Not good damage. And it's over. Should we open this? We'll open it now. We got Rusted Key. Yeah, it probably beats Counterfeit Penny for us in that situation. So, let's move along. I don't know how effective Guppy's head is going to be for us as a you know game-changing item goes, but certainly beats the shit out of the Razor Blade. It's actually going to give us some benefit, which uh, basically by default makes it pretty amazing for us. So we popped two of diamonds. Basically, we just picked up 22 cents on a single room. That's pretty good. That room is done. Yeah, why don't you explode in my face, see if I care. Alright, don't take that out of context. That could probably be taken the wrong way now that I think about it. Soy milk, brimstone. People are going to hate me for taking this. Or for not taking this, sorry. What I would do is I would refer you to an earlier NLSS VOD. I don't know which one it is, but I had an Azazel run where I basically went through the same logic. I was like, people will hate me for not taking soy milk as Azazel. I took it and hated myself. I can't go through that again. I think I'm happier with Rusted Key for now, just because we still need keys to get into item rooms and stuff like that. So if you want to see a Brimstone Soy Milk run, go check that one out. I encourage you to do so. Maybe you'll have a good time. Uh, but for me personally, I can't do another Brimstone Soy Milk run, at least not without a guarantee that we're going to get Libra. So, I apologize if you... Cause, but, you know what? Fuck that. I don't apologize. I'm going off like Ice Cube and no Vaseline now. But if you want to see me, like, literally ruin a run for your own amusement, I ain't having that shit, okay? We're not going to be doing that today. Especially after all the weirdness that I've encountered, largely due to my own design, but still. You know, I'm not going to just straight up pick up an item that ruins the run. The whole crux of absurdity in Isaac, in my personal taste, my personal opinion, is that you, uh... You know, as long as, if there's a chance to ruin your run, but also a relatively good chance to either make it better or at least be hilarious, that's worth it. Just straight up throwing a run? Nah, dog. No way. That's outside of the spirit of competition, man. I want to beat the game, and I want to do it, you know, I want to test my merits. I don't want to just throw and then say, oh, well, I could have won if I didn't do that stupid thing. Just don't do the stupid thing, then. How did I not get a charge on Guppy's head there? That's weirded me out. Maybe I used it accidentally? Like, too too fast for my brain to even notice? Alright, we're, we're on time to still do boss rush if we want to. Double peep? I feel like with double peep, what we will do... Is kill one peep. And then use sacrificial dagger as much as possible against the second peep. Uh, and I... As I said that, I like completely went against my own... Uh, design for that. Please be dead. So this is going to be a little bit of a longer boss fight. This pretty much, you know, emphasizes how little uh, damage I'm getting out of Brimstone here. And you wanted me to throw fucking soy milk on top of this bucket of rat shit? I don't think so. You should look yourself in the mirror and say, why do I want this stranger on the internet to pick up soy milk in this situation? I think you'll you'll be scared to find what comes back after that period of self-reflection, Jack Kerouac. I think you won't like what you see at all. We're heading down to the next floor. Meat, good pickup. It's a damage upgrade. 
That's what I love about my own commentary, not to toot my own horn, but those transitions from weird, you know, bad trip drug-fueled rants into um, game mechanics of the mundane variety. Oh yeah, we got a damage upgrade, that's pretty good. Com I controlled unhingedness, I believe is uh, what, it's, uh, what it's known as in the Let's Play Analytics community. Which is, you know, where I got my uh, Peabody Award last year. Peabody. If only they'd known how silly that name would sound in the future. Okay, I appreciate that. I don't know if we're going to be able to do Boss Rush. You know, we can skip rooms to do it because we'll be coming back anyway. I will open that stone chest just in case we telepills to an error room. Which, of course, we couldn't do to save our lives with uh, Undefined, but watch, it'll just happen on our first telepills here. Not super proud of that damage. I'll just be straight with you on that one. Pretty happy with the way this fight started, though. And as the longer we can keep... But you know what it is? The longer we keep Holy Mantle active on each room, the longer we can use Sacrificial Dagger. Holy Mantle is basically like our Sacrificial Dagger... Um, I'm trying to think, like, customer return period. <laughs> We're still, we can still, you know, it's our 30 day money back guarantee, our 30 second money back guarantee. We can still use a Holy Mantle until, uh, or on, on, we can still use Sacrificial Dagger until Holy Mantle goes. Um, okay, look, Dark Bomb's cool, Headless Baby's cool. We're going Spoon Bender on this one because Spoon Bender Brimstone is hilarious. And we're not actually going to fight the enemies, but I thought it would be cool to, you know, see it in action there. Alright, so we haven't been to our item room yet. It's probably back this way, because we've already been this way, right? We still can't fly. I mean, it might be worth the consumables to get that money there. I really love this uh, item. There, this combination, I should say. It makes it a lot easier to hit multiple enemies, and uh, if you're fighting an enemy that has, like, multiple segments, but they bend... It can save that, uh, save you a lot of trouble in that regard as well. It's a really cool item, plus it looks cool. It's really just like, it's high damage, it looks awesome, it's just a cool synergy. One of the coolest in the game for sure. We can just tear through the game as you're seeing right here. We got Anarchist Cook Butch. With Cook Butch? I didn't mean anything by that. I don't know what my, uh, what my subconscious brain's trying to say. Perthrow Rune, we will, um... We'll save that. Ideally for the chest, but it'll depend on whether or not we get something good in the process. I don't see how soy milk would make this combination any better, by the way. So don't be saying, yeah, but thinking how cool it would be if you had soy milk. I mean, yeah, we'd be firing shots a little bit more often. We'd have to fire about a thousand of them. You'd probably get tired of it pretty quickly, is my hypothesis. We don't even need that penny. You know what? You play the seed, you go back and get that penny. See if I give two shakes of a rat's fucking tail. I don't even know what that means. Not a Billy Ray Cyrus rat tail, but a rat's tail. The new film from Disney Pixar. What? Da, 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 huh? Da na na. There we go. Are we gonna do any more exploration? Probably not, because we don't need to do any more exploration. We don't want to blow any shit up because we have Perthro Rune already. It's all good. And this is definitely our boss area here. We went to our item room, we went to our shop, and now we're going to go down to the womb, and we're going to beat it, and we're going to not beat it, you know. That's not the sound it makes, but you get the idea. I think I might be tired. <laughs> I'm. My conscious brain is listening to my commentary and going, I think I might be a little exhausted right now. But if you're going to be exhausted on an Isaac run, you know, Brimstone Spoonbender, you know, it pretty much plays itself. All you got to do is dodge. But somehow it's still, like, really fun. And there's our boss fight, which is pretty much right where we want to be right now. I guess when it comes to our Perthrow rune, um, we'll just use it on a deal with the devil. I know I said we'd use it on the... We'd use it on the chest. But if our deal with the devil sucks, I'd rather just use it on our deal with the devil and then have the opportunity to take something else with us. Double cage room is still bullshit, but this is good practice because we know we're going to have to deal with this room in the future anyway. Don't ever get close enough to touch me again. Hoping, of course, we get a chance to become Guppy. We have one Guppy item. That's not uh, that's not enough to become Guppy in case you have not been following the Binding of Isaac for very long. We need two more. 
I'd say the odds of it happening on our next deal with the devil are probably about 10%. Usually we're gonna need like a deal with the devil plus a curse room or, a, you know, two curse rooms or a boss trap room somewhere down the line. Took a lot of damage there. Not surprised that this was gonna happen, or that this did happen. Hopefully, uh, I don't even know, hopefully. Because apparently a Lump of Coal does nothing with Brimstone now. We could have re-rolled that and probably should have re-rolled that. But I guess, you know, old habits die hard. It took me forever to realize that, or to be told that Lump of Coal plus Brimstone was a combination that actually worked in vanilla. And then I internalized it and now it's taken me forever to remember that Brimstone Lump of Coal does nothing in Rebirth. In my brain, I'm still like, but, 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 no, it sucks, okay? Reroll it next time. But it's not a net, or I should say, uh, it's not an objective, objectively terrible thing to uh, take a lump of coal. Because in taking it, we get to keep the Perthro rune, and maybe the Perthro rune ends up, you know, fulfilling all of our hopes and dreams that we've never before thought were possible, you know? Who knows what that lets us get on the chest? Especially if we somehow get like a Jero rune on, at the same time. They had like a weird period of invincibility, I think, when we walked in. I didn't know about that. We can't lose this run. Uh, and by can't, I mean we totally can, but if we do, I'm going to be very disappointed. We have Holy Mantle. We got Brimstone. We got Spoonbender. We got Rotten Baby. We got Miter. It's just too good. If we can't win this one, we got to retire for the night. Uh, I should have gone, maybe by the time we left, like the last floor. Uh, I should have gotten rid of Rusted Key and taken the lockpick instead. Maybe it wasn't available on the last floor, though. I can't quite remember if that was the second to last floor or the last last floor. So I'm going to try to kick some bombs in here. You know, it's, it's a sad day when you're kicking in bombs against mom's heart when you already have Brimstone Spoonbender. But I think you gotta, you know, be the bigger man and admit when your run is not doing it from a damage perspective. And right now, our run is not doing it from a damage perspective. At least against, you know, single target foes. Against multiple enemies with low HP, not a problem. Uh, among the most powerful runs you can possibly have. Most powerful combinations, anyway. You just need a little bit more to take us over the top for those, like, super, you know, tanky late game rooms. Double cage. Double adversary. Stuff like that. I still think we're, in all likelihood, going to be completely fine. That is a cool looking laser right there. One of the few times I like having Curse of Darkness. Oh, you didn't die, huh? A little disappointed about that, but that's okay. This is, would be a great time for the Miter to come through in the clutch. Give us a few extra Spirit Arts. Just make me feel a little safer, you know? As Shania Twain said in her landmark song that don't impress me much, you know, bombs are okay. Yeah, I think you're all right, but that won't keep me warm on a long, cold, lonely night. That don't impress me much. What a strange song. So you got a car. That don't impress me much. You're financially in the top 65%. Don't get me wrong. Now I think it's all right. Why are you ju you know... Why are you judging this dude by whether or not he has a car? I mean, I guess the whole point of the song is that you're not, but like, I don't know. It just seems like you're dragging the man's car into it for, for reasons that are unbeknownst. I, as I recall, I believe Shania Twain is like, she's complaining that like, you know, the dude cares about his car. That man has a passion, you know? Don't shit on him for that. You're trying to hit him where it hurts, Shania. Raiding his, his, his love for his inanimate object companion. I don't know, man. She got divorced. I'm not trying to say that she even freaking wrote that song or that she deserved to get divorced. I'm just saying maybe we shouldn't be taking our romantic advice from, from her. Or maybe we should. I don't know. She is Canadian. You know, she's from good old, good old Timmins girl. I'm sure she couldn't care less with the... Hell, I think, considering she lives in, like, a multi-million dollar fucking compound in Switzerland. Anyway, how's it going, Tomo? You doing all right? He's, his ears perked up. He's not much of a conversationalist, though. Mostly, uh, the reason I need some conversation right now is because a lot of these rooms will take care of themselves, but once we get into that Isaac fight, it becomes a little bit of a war of attrition. But then we make it down to the chest. We got more than enough keys. For a while, that was looking like it might be, uh bit of a stretch, so I'm happy that we got it. 
Money, you know, I'm not picking it up based on principle now. How did I miss the spirit art back here? Machine gun jubblies, how did I miss those? That's a, that's a quote from Austin Powers, in case you uh, not heard of it. Mike Myers, good old Scarborough guy, you know. That's part of, like, becoming a Canadian citizen. Well, you know, if you're not just, you know, pushed here through a Canadian vagina, uh, you have to, you know, memorize the hometowns of Canadian celebrities. If you get a question wrong about the uh, Canadian Charter of Rights and Constitutions, you can still become a Canadian citizen, but if you spell Jim Carrey with one R instead of two R's, they actually deport you. And they don't just deport you back to whatever country, you know, you're um, supposed to be repatriated to. They pick, like, the country that would be least favorable for you. Like, you're like, but I'm from England! And you're like, well, sorry, but we're sending you to South Sudan. You know, best of luck. Maybe it's a perfectly safe place. I've never been. I had, look, For that joke to finish, I had to pick a country. Don't be mad, alright? I wasn't trying to say anything by it. But, they're, but I'm from England! Well, we're sending you into Detroit. I wasn't trying to say anything by that. It's just an easy... Some of my best friends are from Detroit, man. Dan Giesling, he's from, like, Lansing or something. That's pretty Detroity. Now, what about this? Yeah, what if we just, like, rotate around Isaac? He says as he takes two damage. Yeah, that's working out pretty well. Yeah, uh, that strategy is perhaps good, but unreliable. I don't think I should have done that. But at the same time, I'm getting a little fed up with the fact that it's taken us two and three quarters centuries in order to finish this fucking boss fight here. Come on, dog. Thank you. Okay, down to the next floor. Sloppy play. But uh, this chest could turn all around. No blind curse. Okay, good. Uh, no. 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 I can't pass up the already great synergy we have. Goodbye, all of you. Uh, Cricket's body does nothing. Little Chub is okay. Cricket's body is actually a tears upgrade. I'll take Unicorn Stump. We can't reroll shit, so I guess we might as well take it. And the Unicorn Stump pickup is really the the great one there. Wayne Gretzky. He's from Etobicoke. Um, I think. I think? Anyway. We're gonna um, take Unicorn Stump, and this should be closer to guaranteeing a win now. Because we open each room, hit him with the Brimstone Laser, then we launch into the Salvo of the Unicorn Stump, which with Sacrificial Dagger is gonna allow us to do a little bit more crowd control, and then it's just a matter of time before we get the shine, you know? Good. Don't even care about the money. It's working out! I don't know if we'll be able to kill Death all at once, but we did at least prevent him from uh, spawning Scythes. That's a start. We also still have Holy Mantle. It's really just long rooms that are gonna... Like, not physically long rooms, but temporally long rooms that are gonna take forever and thus cause us a little bit of a conundrum uh, with respect to our ability to avoid taking damage. Because short rooms that do damage quickly, it doesn't matter. We have, um... We have Holy Mantle, so all we need to do is avoid taking two hits. And if we can kill them before they give us two hits, great. It's the other rooms that are gonna be, uh... Like, the long boss fights and stuff like that. Double Cage, Double Adversary, Double Mega Mod, Double Gate. Rooms like this one. I mean, Unicorn Stump would probably just finish the job. Another thing we could do is actually just do as much damage as possible with Brimstone. And then when we get hit and Holy Mantle goes off, then switch to... Um... Unicorn Stump. Or, if the enemies have low HP like they do here... We'll just try to take one out as quickly as possible, and we uh, botched it miserably, but hey, that was a pretty lucky get at the end there. Please don't touch me. I did not give you permission to invade my personal space, Neutral Fly. You're not neutral at all, are you? If that is your real name. I, I don't like this. I'm very glad we didn't take damage, because that gives us a little bit more time to you know, work our, work our shit out here. We were probably gonna take damage there, so I don't feel bad about that usage. Oh, this is good. Yeah, stay in exactly the same place. We might not have uh, killed one, but we wounded the shit out of one. There's just no question about that. Oh, yes, okay. One Monstro, one Monstro two, I should say, is really just a matter of time. 
Good stuff. All right. Shoot me again, motherfucker. Yeah. Sacrificial dagger. I know I've talked ad nauseum about how much I like this item, not necessarily just on this run, but on runs in the past, but man, oh man. If I had not picked that up on our, uh, on our first deal with the devil, I think we actually might have lost this run in spite of all the great shit that I do have going on here. And that's, you know, as much of a byproduct of me right now as it is the actual uh, items themselves, but still. Yes, I know there are bombs back there. It's okay. Can't believe we didn't take damage there. Got kind of a mental map of where the second polycephalus is, and now it's gone. Okay. One has already been killed. Just stay up, dog. Make my life easy for once. Loving these chest drops. Oh, wait, we haven't had any. This is where I put my chest drops if I had them. So, uh, don't do what I did on that fight. I would encourage you to just avoid doing what I did on that fight. I would even say I would discourage you from doing what I did. That is just... I mean, it's not unacceptable to take damage here. Taking two hits is actually just ridiculous, especially considering I had Unicorn Stump. That's what, you know, when you're trying to play it optimally, but instead you just, you know, outthink yourself a little bit. Fuck that bomb. I don't need it. Let's move on. Raw liver's here. Thought about it. I think we're still probably okay. Almost picked up uh, Isaac's heart by accident there. That probably would have sunk it. That might have ruined the run right there. I can get behind you guys who are saying, yo, don't disrespect the guillotine. Guillotine's a good item. But when people start saying, yo, this scum is always disrespecting Isaac's heart, you guys have got to preferably give me, not sell me, a little bit of the shit that you're smoking. Because, like... You're high as a fucking kite right now. Higher than the Empire State. Virgo is great. Even if that only gives us one period of extended invincibility. Oh my god, it turned our pill good too. Um, yeah, so it's already been amazing. And I appreciate it. And I hope that you do appreciate it as well. I also appreciate these double chubs giving us like this sweet ass like ribbon dancing we got going on here. Yeah, thank you Miter. Everything's starting to work uh, in conjunction with itself again. This might be a one shot. Not even close, actually, which is pretty sad considering how little HP has and how hard Brimstone counters it. Pretty close now. Oh, that just... They bomb each other or something? That was a weird one. I wish I could see a little bit more of what's going on in this room, but more than that, I'm just happy to be able to, you know, fly through them pretty quickly and do as much damage as is humanly possible. Almost done. Almost done. Easy room. Unfortunately, another dead end. So we now, I'll call it, we probably won this one. I mean, we probably should have called it a one run earlier. I may actually already have done that, but still. Let me out, let me out, let me out! I still, I can't shake the feeling. That, you know, if you just, like, threw a little bit of a bone my way, if you just gave me, like, one more damage upgrade, I'd be a lot happier. Or, like, one damage upgrade at all. I don't know if we ever got a damage upgrade on this run. Now that I think about it. We might be bereft of damage. So, I guess my plan here is to... It sounds weird when you have Brimstone, but my plan is, like, nail him with Little Chub as much as possible. And we should Unicorn Stump, you know, just get in there and... Rotate around him, and that's going to do a decent amount of damage in and of itself. Got a bomb that went off at the end. That helped out. Nun's Habit would be a, a glorious item for us to have right now. You know, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna get a little silly. I'm going to try the same shit we tried against Isaac, but just stay further away. Maybe we do have Nun's Habit. I guess we do have Nun's Habit. How did I not notice that? Machine Gun Nun's Habit. How did I miss those, baby? Yeah, we totally do. All right, so clearly I just can't keep a mental inventory of what we got going on in our run. We won anyway. How's it going? I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. We'll get back to normal non-eating runs next. But uh, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.